Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today we've got a product from Lemfo. This is their LM07 smartwatch. This will work on iOS and on Android. You can pick it up on Amazon for a decent price of $69 at the time of this video. I'll have a link in the description below where you can check this out. We happen to have the black model for review. Uh, going around the box here, they do have some stats on the back that I'll go over really quickly. Uh, it is a 1.54 IPS wide fit arc touch screen at 240 by 240 resolution. It does have a camera all although I do not know the megapixels on the camera, it's not listed. Uh, it does have a, a rechargeable 320 milliamp battery. It supports Android 4.3 plus and iOS 7.0 plus. So this will support Android and uh, also iOS, uh, so you don't have to worry about whether you have one or the other. This guy will work on both. Now, inside the box, you're going to get the smartwatch. You're going to get a USB sync and charge cable. You're going to get your user manual, warranty card, and a extra protective um, film for the screen itself. And there is one already installed on the screen. It uses Bluetooth 4.0, and the functions are Bluetooth phone, call reminder, anti-lost, sleep tracker, sedentary reminder, calculator recording, video player, music player, remote camera, alarm, documents management, calendar, and a stopwatch. So this guy's got a bunch of stuff. Now this is an Apple Watch clone, so it's going to look exactly like the Apple Watch. As you can see, you've got your crown and your power button here. Uh, so it's pretty much an Apple Watch clone, uh, right down to the fact it does not have a heart rate sensor, so you're not going to be able to track your heart rate with it. Uh, it does, although, support a SIM card, a standalone SIM card, so that if you want to put this in, uh, in your uh, the back of the watch itself, it can act and have its own number. Uh, you won't need a phone uh, via Bluetooth to utilize this as a standalone phone. So that's actually pretty cool, um, and it works very well. Uh, unfortunately, here in the States, uh, we tested it with T-Mobile and only got 2G and 3G speeds out of it, uh, but it does work and you can use it at least on T-Mobile I've tested. I haven't tested any other GSM networks. It will not work on CDMA networks, uh, so that's something to be, uh, you know, of note if you have, uh, you know, Verizon or Sprint or something like that that's in CDMA. Now in the uh, box here, we've got a couple different things. We obviously got the watch, which I'm going to pull out here, uh, and then we've got our We've got our actual extra screen protector here that they give you, give you an extra one. There's already one pre-installed on the watch itself. And they give us a USB cable here, uh, which I really like this USB cable. Uh, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on the actual applications. You can download applications for iOS uh, from the App Store or from Google Play. You can get the uh, application for the Android side of things. I'm going to focus more on the watch today. They give you a sync cable here. It's a USB to magnetic clasp sync cable. And as you can see on the side of the watch, uh, it's got this uh, magnetic charge port here where it just clicks right in and starts charging. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's strong enough that it's not going to fall off, but not strong enough that it's going to hold the watch up by itself independently. So beware of that. Uh, let's take a quick look. And you can you can charge this through any PC or laptop USB, or if you have something like this, which is a, you know an AC to USB adapter, you can use that. Uh, when you do plug it in, uh, you can transfer files back and forth from the watch. It does have limited amounts of uh, storage on it, so you're not going to be able to store uh, a lot of music or files. Um, it does have a built-in camera, so it will have enough to uh, take pictures and short videos, uh, but that is about it as far as storage goes. So there is no extra micro SD storage that you can add to the watch itself, just a SIM uh, slot, which I'll show you. They give you this uh, little um, fold out kind of uh, deal here. Uh, one side is in Chinese, one side's in English. Uh, they tell you, of course, you can either go and get the APK for Android. It's called Funduware Android uh, version. Um, and then they've got the iOS uh, version as well uh, that you can get from the App Store uh, for iOS. Uh, the connection, you're going to have to register uh, and then log in. And once you log in, you're going to get um, you know, it's going to tell you whether you uh, are connected via Bluetooth. Uh, you can edit your watch name. Uh, you know, it's, it starts off with a pedometer and activity screen. And then when you hit home, it's going to have a bunch of other things uh, that you can change in it as well. 
Uh, and again, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on the actual application, but more focus on the watch. The built-in functions of the watch, you've got a pedometer, sedentary reminder, sleep monitoring, so you can see how much, how long you're into deep sleep. Now the crown on this actually does work, um, and you can uh, press the knob, short press the knob to uh, go next. Um, you get some built-in clocks here, which are actually pretty cool. Uh, it does support mobile SIM card, again, uh, it calls an SMS function. Um, so you've got that. It does have a uh, camera function, uh, time synchronization. Um, it will sync with whatever uh, device uh, you are synced up to. So you'll just go to settings, clock, and then sync your time. SMS, uh, so you can send S SMS messages. It does have T9 uh, set up there, not a QWERTY keyboard. So if you're uh, familiar with T9, you can actually uh, do T9 uh, if you want to. Dialing again to direct dial phone numbers, making calls, uh, contacts. It will bring your contacts over from your phone. Uh, Bluetooth music from your phone. Uh, remote camera. iOS does not support the remote camera, but you can actually use the remote camera and take pictures from your phone. And then you've got your, you know, email, Skype, uh, or Facebook, and all these other things that you can do um, that they say. Uh, you'll get um, reminders for. Now, these are for reminders. These aren't actually built into the, to the watch itself. So if I want Twitter um, push notifications, I'll get them Facebook, Skype, you know, all that type of stuff or push notifications. And you'll just turn them on and off under my applications in the actual application there. So uh, it does have a voice function for um, iOS users. It will actually... Uh, use Siri if you hit it on the watch and it's synced up. You can get Siri function. Uh, you unfortunately don't get any voice function for Android, but for uh, iOS, it definitely does work. Um, the watch itself, I like the design. Again, you've got the crown here, uh, and as you can hear, the crown is working. It does select everything that you need it to select, and then you can actually push the crown in. You've got a power button here, you've got a camera here. Uh, you've got your charge port, and on the back, uh, if we look at the strap itself, I like the strap too. It's it's nice. It's unfortunately non-replaceable, uh, but it's nice and thick, and it is soft, so you don't have to worry about uh, it breaking down on you anytime soon. Um, if we take a look underneath, uh, what we're going to be looking at is we can open this up, and this is where you will put in your micro SIM card. Again, we tested. There's an IME I number there. Uh, we tested this guy uh, with T-Mobile and got 2G to 3G speeds, depending on where we were. Uh, and so it did work as a standalone uh, as a standalone functional phone so you don't have to have it tethered through Bluetooth but tethering through Bluetooth worked just fine for us as well so we didn't have any problems with that either and I'll hook it up uh, right now to my Android phone to just show you basic call functions and that type of thing so let's turn this guy on really quickly uh, you just hold down the power button there Now this uses, uh, when you go to the About Watch, uh, this uses uh, software that is based on the DM09, which has been around uh, in a bunch of different uh, types of smartwatches. Uh, so we've got all of that. Um, it's connecting. I had previously had this paired to my uh, phone here, so it's trying to connect. So what it's going to do, normally you would just go in and um, go to Bluetooth and scan for it. It'll come up as the DM09, as you can see right there. Uh, you confirm the pass key and say OK. And then it'll ask you uh, if you want it to uh, access contacts and phone log. And, uh, you know, of course you want it to because then it'll have it. And these are some of the... Uh, Funderware, this is that application I was talking about giving me a pop-up notification. So this is how you'll get your pop-up notifications here. So I've got all my pop-up notifications and I am all set to go. Uh, now you can see at the top of the screen here, uh, I've got a Bluetooth icon. I've got a sound icon. I'm sorry, I'm kind of not, I'm trying to make sure that I'm, uh, Okay, so you've got your Bluetooth notification, you've got a, a, an exclamation, which means that I have an actual uh, notification, and then you also have 
uh, your uh, headphone, which means that uh, you've got your uh, audio connected to your phone as well. So if we want to, there's several different watch faces that I can go through here. This one I kind of like a lot. It, uh, it, it does say insert SIM here, which kind of sucks if you don't have a SIM in it, so it's always going to say that. Uh, it has synced up my time with my device, as you can see, 8.50 p.m., uh, so we are all set there. Uh, and then it gives you some quick uh, spots that you can go to to get to um, your f phone dialer, your alarms, and your stopwatch, which is actually really cool. We'll do a test call really quickly. Uh, we'll just call T-Mobile because I like calling those guys, uh, and they won't mind. And if I wanted to do a local call, that means if I had a SIM card in it, I could do local call. Uh, my Galaxy Note 4 is also listed here, so I'm going to select the Galaxy Note 4 and dial through that. So as you can see, no problems there. If I want to bring the dialer back up. Sorry, I didn't understand. I can mute it. I can mute the mic there too as well. If I want to bring the dialer back up, I can bring it that way. And we can just end the call. So as you saw, no problems with calls. Now call recorder is something I have running on my phone and it's actually, um, I can view these if I want to, uploading to Dropbox, that type of thing. Uh, so I'll get a notification every time from uh, the phone when something happens and I have to go in and actually uh, select a bunch of different things uh, to, you know, to what, I want my notifications to be. So if I want my system notifications to show up, all of them will show up like they are right now. Um, if I just want Facebook to show up and say, uh, you know, Twitter to show up, I'll unselect everything. And then I'll, all, the only ones that will come in are Facebook and Twitter. If I want my messages to come in, I'll, I'll select, you know, my default messaging app uh, and that sort of thing. So you've got all of that. So as you can see, uh, super slick, works very well. The design of the watch, I actually like the design of this watch. I love the crown, how you can uh, go through the menu styles. Uh, they've got two different menu styles. They've got this four by four block menu style. And then they also have, uh, if you go to menu style here, uh, they've got the kind of Apple Watch looking menu style if I can get it to register, which is called Smart Style on here. And uh, we'll hit Smart Style, and then we'll go back, and uh, we will ch check this out. Now, it's it's grouped in a bunch like, like the Apple Watch or like something uh, that you've seen. Now, you can actually select all these with your finger. You can move them around, select them with your finger. The problem is a lot of times I'll end up hitting the wrong one. So if I'm going to use this interface, I'll, I'll tend to try to zoom in really quickly so that uh, I can make it nice and big and then select it that way. Um, I don't necessarily like that uh, one. I like the four app style, actually. So let's see if I can look at display and go back to menu style. And I'll take four apps because I kind of like that one a little bit better. So now that we're back at that, uh, you've got a couple different things. You've got some themes you can go through here. There's three themes that are built in. There are no extra apps that you're going to get with this. They're all contained within the watch. Uh, you can't really get uh, any extra apps like a dedicated uh, Facebook app or anything like that. Uh, so just be forewarned of that. Uh, the camera itself is right here. And uh, doing this behind the camera is difficult. So give me a second here. There we go. Oh, there we go. So here's the camera. That's me videoing uh, the review. Obviously, uh, the camera is not actually. Whoops, is not that bad. Uh, for a built-in camera here. Uh, you can change the options on this guy as well to change it to video. I'll show you that really quickly. You've got switch to video recorder, uh, restore defaults. You can uh, do effect settings. If I want it to be like gray style or sepia or whatever, I can do that. Um, color invert, uh, green and blue, grayscale. So if I switch it to grayscale, uh, it should come up on the image as well. Image settings, uh, camera settings, we've got uh, you know your EV, your contrast, and you can rotate through all these with the crown and select which ones you want to do. So that's actually really cool that they did that. Uh, you can turn your shutter sound on and off. Uh, you can restore to default, which I'll do right now. Um, and then we'll go back uh, to the camera. And then we will go back to our menu and continue on. So you've got the sleep monitor, your camera, remote notifier, 
Um, you've got your Bluetooth music, so if I want to play Bluetooth music, I can actually just click on it, and then I can play some right from my phone. So not too bad. I mean, you're getting that right from your phone there. No problem. Messaging, if I want to send a message to somebody, again, uh, SMS style messaging. Uh, if I want to send that to somebody, I just have to click on messaging if I can actually do it behind the camera without it moving on me. You've got your inbox, your drafts, sent messages, delete messages, outbox. Uh, so if I want to write a message, whoops, that was my outbox. Of course, there's not going to be anything in there. Uh, so because I don't have anything in there. So let's move up to write message. If you go to write message, um, you can clear everything. Uh, you can actually uh, use a T, it's got it set up kind of as T9 here, as you can see. Uh, so you've got that uh, set up uh, if you wanna, you know, do it that way. Now there's a couple different things you can go in. You can do uh, lowercase, uh, still T9. Unfortunately, it doesn't really look like they have a, a QWERTY, uh, QWERTY keyboard. They've got different languages, as you can see, Hebrew all the way through French and um, Italian, Russian, uh, all the way down. So you're kind of stuck. It does have a symbol as well and numeric, so you can switch it over that way if you want to. But the cool thing is, um, if you're if you're okay with T9, uh, then you'll be able to write messages on this, no problem. Uh, so it's got it. It works, um, and we didn't have any problems with it. Find my device. Uh, it's pretty much just looking for the phone and it'll ring on the phone and if I want to stop it, that way I can find my phone uh, and, and both devices will do it so you can do it backwards and look for the watch as well. Your dialer, again, we were already in there, that is for making phone calls. A nice dialer, nice big screen, easy to see. And this screen, by the way, is uh, very good. Uh, the, this this protector that's on the outside gets a lot of fingerprints on it, so you could remove the protector if you wanted to. Uh, but if, as you notice, there's really no distortion when you go, or very minimal. Uh, at angles, they did a really good job on the screen on this, which on some cheaper smartwatches, uh, you get kind of that fade, uh, and you don't really get that here. So uh, you've got your QR code. This is for downloading that fun uh, Fundoware application. Your motions, you get your flight mode. Uh, motions is like when I want to uh, flip to mute incoming calls, flip to mute alarms, wake up gesture, uh, shaking to switch, um, shake to answer the call. Uh, you know, all that stuff can be turned on and off right through the motion. Uh, flight mode will turn pretty much all your signal off. Your about, if we go into about, it's interesting. Again, I, I, you see the DM09, which is used on a lot of different smartphones. Um, it's kind of like a closed, I believe, Linux-based operating system. Uh, so you're not going to be adding any um, extra uh, apps to this. This is pretty much once what it comes with is what you get. And honestly, what you get works very well. As you've seen, we've done several different things, and they've all worked pretty flawlessly, so we don't have any problems there. Um, so you've got all of that there in your version, your DM, DM09 underscore V3 underscore C, 151013, uh, was released 10-13-2015. Now there may be an update at this point, I have not checked, uh, so we could check that out. Um, and then you've got a pedometer here, your Bluetooth connection, where you'll set up your Bluetooth connection in the beginning. You can search for new devices, make sure that Bluetooth is on, uh, that type of thing. Sedentary reminder, your phone book should have brought all of my phone names in here and it did, so that's awesome. So I can j actually just call right from there. File manager, volume, uh, clock. If I wanna just check out the clock, uh, I can time sync, make sure that my time sync is on for whatever device that I have it synced to. So that's cool. Uh, file manager, you can. it's got a basic file manager. Again, you're not gonna get a lot of, uh, you know, on the watch itself, you're not gonna get a lot of space here. Uh, just because it doesn't have a lot of space. Uh, and it doesn't have, unfortunately, uh, a, a micro SD card to add to it, which would have been uh, kind of put this guy over the top for me. Um, heart rate monitor I can do without. BT settings, uh, clock settings, sound, uh, volume, display. You can go in here and you can check your menu style. The brightness, we can, we can jack the brightness up if we want. I believe it's pretty high now. But that's about the highest, it's like on five. And then you can kind of go all the way down to save battery life. I kind of leave it on four. 
screen timeout, you can change that. Uh, so you've got many different things that you can do there. Uh, magic voice, which is another cool one that I thought was really cool to add in here. You can actually have this thing change your voice to a man, woman, or child voice to kind of prank your friends or whatever uh, when you're making phone calls through the watch. Obviously, it's got a mic built in as well. So when we're talking, it's doing, it's picking it up and it's changing your uh, voice there. So I thought that was pretty, pretty interesting that you can do that. And then you can change volumes for the multimedia, the ring, and the notifications if you would like as well. So overall, uh, Lempho did an awesome job on this. I really do like this. There's only a couple of detractions. Um, you know, the fact that you can't add a micro SIM or a micro SD card for extra storage, uh, and the watch band is not replaceable. That's the only thing. But it's a $69 price point. The screen is beautiful. Uh, the design is nice. The battery lasts a good long time. We got some really decent battery times off this. Uh, if you're not getting constant. Um, notifications, you're going to get a day and a half to two days of battery life on this, uh, or at least I did. Uh, the functions that this watch gives are great. You've got your camera, you've got uh, you've got uh, your stopwatch, you've got your pedometer, your sleep reminder, you've got uh, remote capture for your uh, phone, which I didn't go over, uh, which will access this phone's camera and then capture for you. Uh, so there's a lot of great, great functions on this watch. I like the actual magnetic charger uh, and uh, Again, if I could just pick a few gripes that I didn't, uh, non-replaceable band would be one of them, and uh, just maybe the add addition of some extra storage so you could uh, store some music locally if you wanted to. Um, but uh, it works as a standalone phone as well, and I think Lempho did a great job. So this was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. If you guys have any questions or comments about this guy, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll check you guys out on the next video.